What's up, guys? I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the 2020 Sportsman Masters 247 Bay Boat. Approaching, you can tell that it is on a Venture Custom Trailer from Gulf Coast Boating Centers in Fort Walton, Florida. We have surge brakes. Um, this is a different hitch than I'm used to, but it works fine. It's on a two-inch ball, just like anything else. This lock is great. You got to put this pin in every time, but that's cool. Um, the brakes are amazing. Let me watch out. Um... <laughs> Let's take a look at the brakes. They're amazing. I mean, they stop it. Like, you barely know you have a boat behind you when you're braking. Of course, when you're towing, it's terrible. But, <coughs> excuse me. Got a bit of a cold. <coughs> but these brakes stop it like nothing else. I mean, it's great. Uh, stepping back toward the rear, we have a beautiful F300 Yamaha four-stroke. And this thing, it, it scoots, man. I'll tell you what. It flies bigger than anything i've ever had nice nice prop it is the there you go y'all can see that and it is the saltwater series 2 from yamaha ultra low emissions who cares about emissions uh you can remove the cowling right there um you got the swim platform really nice this is very slick actually in the rain so i don't know how that's gonna do you wish it was granulated but it's not it's rubberized so it's gonna be a little difficult. This this is good, it's solid. We do have flush trim tabs from Electro, Electro Tab, okay. But that's what comes standard on the boat. They are flush, it's great. Trim tabs do wonders. Good looking system, very good looking system. Um, we may, I mean this is ski toe if you wanna ski, which we like to do sometimes. Um, there's your Minn Kota that pairs with the sensor in the trolling motor up there up there and it knows where it's going so you definitely need that and look look how gorgeous that is guys sportsman logo right there these trailer lights have worked every time but if you look these are galvanized on normal aluminum so that's not going to go well but that's okay hopping aboard we'll start in the back Ooh, we oh crap look at that Get on this towel, that's why it's here. Stupid. That's what the broom's for, though. We have twin 28 gallon live wells in the transom on the back deck. Ah, come on, open. What's going on? Don't know what that was, but it opened. Uh, we have a net in there right now, but if you look in, you get your pro air circulating and bubbling system. You get your drain, your live well light right there. And close that up. Pop it down, give it a step, good. And come over, same thing, but without the pro air bubbler or circulator, but same general concept, 28 gallons, everything with the LED light as well. Uh, you got your pull-up anchor cleats right here. These are on both sides of the transom, right there and right there. And let me move this cover for y'all guys. For y'all real quick. Um, man, it's light. I expected that to be kind of heavy, it wasn't. Um, all right, guys, I'm filming with my phone, so this is going to be a little weird. Sorry if y'all can't see, but you just, dang it. Um, I want to film it, though. All right, so you just pop it all down, pull it out to there, flip it up. Now you got a seat for at least two people, maybe even three. Three kids, easily. Um, then you can pull up and out, and boom. Look at all that. We have a couple life jackets in here, throwing cushion, rear anchor. There's your build stuff right there. Then you can see your cutoff valves are still in reach. You can see where they are. All the wiring system looks very well kept. Very good. There's your fuel, fuel filter. <coughs> fuel filter, guys. That's what I meant. But yeah, you can still reach everything and you've got a ton of storage. That's great. Um, if I was getting in it, I'd do this, because with the cushion, you lose a couple inches of reach, and that could be bad, but there you go, and then you can sit down here, and it's not wet, because it wasn't here while it was raining, you can pull up on this pin, right here, pull out on the Yeti, like that, like so, and you've got a 65 cord Yeti cooler, beautiful, I'm glad they switched to that. They had a stupid little strap that came around here, a black strap, Velcro strap. We replaced it with Yeti tie-down, because screw that, that's stupid. 
but these work right. It's a little difficult, but there it clicked in with the pen. You got locking, tackle storage. We don't have anything in there right now. But some keys, wrenches, drains, little things that came with the boat. Just picked it up, guys, a couple weeks, oh, last weekend. Uh, then you got, these actually came with the boat, Plano boxes. Those will be good. We'll use them. It is lockable, so that's great. Um, and then you just, guys, for this, you just fold it down. And then you just put your knees here and click. Just like that. Ooh, I just got rained on. Alright, and then now we're underneath the console. And if you look under here, you have your 12 inch Garmin. We didn't get a second one because it was too expensive. And then you got all your switches and everything JL Audio right there. Two cup holders, trip tabs with LED indicators on the sides, your Yamaha key, throttle control. This is, it changes gear so easily, it's scary. Um, Optimus 360, right there. That, that screen's very helpful. You do have hydraulic tilt steer, or not hydraulic, you have electronic power steering, because the Optimus, and you have tilt steering with that. It'll move the wheel up and down. Sorry guys, I gotta block your view for a second. And click. So there you go. You do have dual flip bolsters right here for your seats, passenger seats, and you can pop up on here. Oh, I slipped. Pop up on here. You can use the bottom one or the top one. Top one's more comfortable for me, but if you're a tall guy, I'm still 16, 5'8", so I go down to here, I go up here, and then a taller person, like my daddy's six foot, he'll go to here, you know, because it's more comfortable for him. And then you can stand and ride, or you can put your butt right there on top of it and you can get really high up if you're driving that's really helpful when you're driving this is my eye level my dad's would be up here but my eye level's here but if i stand on the floor it's down here but if i get up here now i can see the front of the boat so i like that it's cool another couple or see three couple i did not know that actually why did i not know that and then this is your yamaha station selector focus focus there you go and that's because we have a second station. I'll show you that one is not raining. And this is the standing platform for it. See, if we didn't have this, this would be the top of the console. It'd be a lot easier to see. So if you're not going for the second station, but why would you not? It's literally awesome. But yeah, but then you'd be able to see pretty easily. You got your Garmin radio, VHF radio right there. The cover is on it, but I'm gonna leave it there because I want to and you don't get an opinion, no offense. And then behind me here, flip that out you got some storage up here it's very small very minuscule and it's tilted towards you so everything falls out but it's there if you wanted to throw your wallets and keys and stuff in there that's it's nice i'll take what i can get um yeah i mean this boat's pretty much loaded out with every option except you know premium stereo a second garmin that's about it and trim tabs we did not not trim tabs um what is it called uh sea star jack plate we did not get a jack plate we don't need one um, but yeah, Edison steering knob, and this is the texture grip, if you didn't see that. And, ugh, it's raining now, I don't want to get out from under the hard top. But we did go for the combing bolsters in the back. They run all the way to parallel with this door. So right there. And same on this side. Right down. And then you have eight speakers on this boat. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight so that's pretty cool um that's uh, later we did get the real pads i think they were standard actually and then these little things oh this one's flipped in um you just pick them up twist them now they're locked in and you can fit seven foot rods that's it it's exactly seven foot if you have a weight on the end it's not gonna fit i wish they would go ahead and give you at least two or three more inches on the molding but they didn't but you know, that's not that big of a deal. What I do wish, though, is that this top one had a hole in it for fly rods that are 9 feet long. At least 9 feet, maybe 10 for people that throw really long fly rods. Nine's essential, though. That should at least go 9 feet. The top one only. On both sides. But, um, no boat's perfect. Everybody knows that. This one's pretty darn close, though. You have your four... Rocket launchers on top of the hard top. Your kingfish rod holders right there. You got this grip. It's really cool. 
and then you got your four rocket launchers on the back of the seats. And then you got one, two, three, four gunwheel rod holders. So that's pretty cool. You have you have midship cleats, which is great for single rope tie off to docks. I'm so glad they have that. That's that's great way to go, sportsman. That that makes it, man. Then you got your ankle ank anchor cleat right here, and then we're gonna put a thing here so it doesn't hit the troll motor. Obviously, we have the anchor cleat right here, and then we're gonna put a thing here for the so it doesn't hit troll motor. But that's about it for the main components. But I'm gonna keep going anyway. We have this front live well. It's, uh, I don't know, I'd say 15, 20 gallons. It's not huge, but it's cool. It's good, it's cool. Kind of mix those together there. There's where the horn comes out, so don't blare when people are sitting up front. It's gonna scare the crap out of them. Um, two people, two, two small people, adults, can sit up here. Um, you can see my foot, just for perspective. I wear a size eight, because I'm still a teenager. Um, but two large adults is going to be kind of tight. I'm going to be honest with you. So that, that's a really nice feature. I like that. It just flips up. That's a friction hinge there. And then this one. Let's see, I can't, I can't get by right now. Now I can. Okay. So you got your rod. There's one, two, three, three, four, five spots for the button. There's six rods down there. The thing that's wrong with these is they use weak PVC, and look at that, it's not quite finished, but whatever. Um, they use weak whatever they use, and it cramped. I'm sorry, it crimped. So, when you put the rods in, anything over seven feet long, it's gonna break. It's not gonna break, but, you know, it's tight, and I don't like it. And we wanted to put fly rods here, now we can't. Where are we gonna put fly rods? I don't know. Um, this is your, there's where you put the water in for the 13-gallon tank. Um, that to get to the inside the boat if you need to, to the tank, if you need a bigger port of entry. Wash down pump that's not hooked up yet, right there. Uh, some anchor ropes and a cast net. Sorry guys, I'm a little too zoomed in right now. And then you lock that there. These just fall down, just like that. And you can lock and it is lockable. Same with this one. Whoop. Bam. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And then this is where your backrests go. And then the cushion snaps here, here, up there. Right, right. Come on, focus. Right there, and right there. And then you have a well-placed cup holder for cruising around in the bay. Or behind the island, or whatever you're doing. Which is well-placed. <laughs> You have a big fish box, but it's not very long. It's a big fish box, don't get me wrong, but it's not very long. So, a big king, most kings will fit in here, but a big king, a wahoo, a big cobia, not going to fit. But we would just put them in there, because everything on the front is insulated in this boat, and everything in the boat is insulated. So, you can put your, your ice and everything in there if you wanted, and it drains, if you didn't. Let me show you all that real quick. See that drain? Yep, everything drains, so that's pretty cool. And then moving up to the anchor locker. Oh, there's where gas is, by the way. <laughs> moving up to the anchor locker, you've got your, obviously, your anchor. We have a fortress anchor in here. We have a couple hundred feet of line, but we run it attached to 70 foot, 75 feet of line with a four, inch, four foot chain, that white nylon covered chain, nylon coated chain. So we don't scratch up the new butt. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm excited. Ooh. This is a 72-inch shaft, uh, 112 pounds of thrust, and it is a 36-volt system on the Minko and its robot. And then we had one 80-pound uh, thrust on our other boat, and it worked great. No complaints. There's where your spreader lights are. Curtis City Light. Curtis City Light. I don't know. I'll show you all the lights later at night. Um, so, that about... Oh, I forgot this. <laughs> and that's pretty simple. Porta potty right there, but we don't use it. Your life jackets, your cushions, all store very easily. And there's still... Look at this, guy. Still plenty. Obviously, I can't stand up in here. You'd have to be about five feet tall. But 
or probably four foot tall. But you could easily sit down and pee, you know that's feminine. And then your wiring, it's it's very easily snapped off. And your in your wiring. And there you go. Very well wired, by the way. So that's about it for now. Um I'll check back in when it, when night falls and it's not raining and go through the lights and the Garmin electronics and etc. And we'll be good to go. See y'all then. Last thing, guys. Second station. The best part of the boat. $16,000 option, man. But it was worth every penny. Let me see. You gotta step here. Now I like to step back here onto this. Then step here. Reach up. Oh, gosh. I can't reach it with one hand. Grab it here. Pull that bar down like that. And pull it open. Ugh. Then close it. And then you're going to step on the cup holder. Gosh. Step on the cup holder. Climb up. It's hard with one hand. Very difficult. And then up. Ooh, everything's flat. Okay. You do have two seats up here. But where's the max thing? Where'd it go? Oh, right here. Maximum upper deck right there. Um, nine inch Garmin throttle control station switch, which there's another one down there. That's just so throttle controls are disabled. Steering's not, which is bad, but throttle is at least disabled. So nothing really bad will happen. You got a cup holder, your trim tabs, everything. Uh, start stop button for the Yamaha. That's really nice. Um, so no key, no second key necessary. You got your anchor light right here, your antenna right there, four more rod holders, plus these, if you're sitting up here looking for Cobia, you know, slowly running, you can have a rod up here and throw it at them if you're fishing alone, or if you see it before the person in front of you. So, and look at this view, guys. I mean, I can see everything from up here. Just lean against that while you're driving, it's, it's cruising. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yep, that's the second station. It gives you a great vantage point, guys. I can't stress that enough. And then to get down, you do the exact same thing. But I'm not going to show y'all because I might die. So, see ya. Okay, back on board. It's a little darker now. So, we're going to do the lights. Um, obviously, this is a black powder coat with the shark gray underhull and a shark gray hull. I didn't mention that earlier, but there you go. Um, let's go ahead and flip the battery on and talk about it. And by the way, but guys, this boat was around 102000 after every single thing was squared away. <laughs> Hit a bucket. <laughs> what is that doing? Let me get that out of the way. Alrighty, let's get into this. I agree. Okay, that's what we usually run. It's the GPS system from Garmin. But you can go home. Maybe Yamaha. And that's the Yamaha gauge. And that's really nice. I like that gauge a lot. Very, very high quality. You get everything. Basically, your trim, everything. Um, you can play around with this for hours. You got waypoints, everything. So, very, very cool. It would probably be nice with two screens, just because you could do the Yamaha, Yamaha gauge on, what the heck, that wasn't, what the, why is it yellow, oh, because the engine's not, okay, so you could have this gauge, and then you could have your other screen there, <sighs> breathing heavily again, um, so yeah, that that's basically all the Garmin is, But it's pretty cool. Um, horns are really, like, it's really annoying and obnoxious, so I'm not going to hit it. Okay. Got the keys. And there's your hatch keys. And then your ignition switch. Do this. there those will light up 
then you got your Optimus system. That's bright, lordy. Yeah. Okay. Got it. JL Audio. Um. So this will show you your RPM and your rudder placement. So if I turn it, the wheel to the right. Turn the wheel to the right. It adjusts that. And I can get back to 30. But you can go to zero and then you know you're straight. That's really helpful. And the RPM's right there so you can use your other gauges. Jail Audio is pretty cool. Uh, you just Bluetooth connect and play whatever music you want. There's a station selector. If that light button isn't on, then it's up top. And vice versa. Trim tabs are good. All up, all down. Cool. So we'll go ahead and close that back out. And turn on the switches. Do that. Take the key out. I'm not gonna do the horn, but I'll go ahead and show you. Left on navigation light is the stern light. Is the anchor light? I'm sorry. And then if you go all the way to the right, it'll give you your shark eyes, the anchor light, and your switch panel will be illuminated. Um, courtesy lights on. Now you got that blue light, those lights. Very, very nice. All the way around. And this just lights up the floor very well. There he is. Very nice. Courtesy lights are gorgeous. It's kind of cold right now. Underwater lights are extremely bright, guys. They're really bright. They look beautiful. Um, spreader lights. These things. Look how bright that is. You got three of them. Two, aft, one, forward. And then you've got your T-top lights, which is that, those. So those are great. Um, accessory switches, wash down, light bulb one. So that's all cool. Hang on, let me check the lights real quick. Okay, light bulb lights are not on. Let me turn off these spreader lights. They're too bright. Navigation lights. Okay, everything's off. Um, fresh water, level one. And that'll turn on the light. So there you go. Gorgeous.